Today we're going to be multiplying two by one digit examples. What I mean by that is that, for example, here you have a two digit. So anytime you have two numbers right beside each other, that would be a two digit. Here you would have a one digit because it is only one individual number. Now, how do we go ahead and multiply these or how do we figure this out? It's very simple, believe it or not. All you're doing right here is you're saying two times two. You don't think about the seven, ignore the seven. It's not relevant yet. It will be, but not yet. So the first, next thing that we're gonna do is simply do two times two, which is gonna be equal to four. That's very simple. After that, when you are done there, you go ahead and move on to two times seven. Notice that I'm bubbling them. As I bubble, it makes it a little bit more visually appealing to understand what it is that I'm doing next. I can go ahead and make sure though, that on this seven, Dropping it right down would be my answer. So whatever that line is right here, that is where I'm going to be putting my next number. I make sure that I do not go backwards and I do not write on top of this four. Now, two times seven, that's going to be 14. All I did was just seven times two. All I'm doing is doing seven times two, which is equal to 14. So when I do that, I simply have to go ahead and write this 14. I write this 14 here. Notice that I did not rewrite or I did not cover that four. All I'm doing is simply writing my 14 that I have here, I have this 14 here and I'm writing it here because I've already done that four previously. This one here has already been accounted for for my first circling. Let me keep going and I'll show you the example on the next one, 31 times eight. What I'm doing here is first off, I'm gonna do eight times one. When I do eight times one, I'm gonna have eight. Any time, any number, right? Times one is just gonna be that number. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm simply gonna go ahead and say eight times three. When I multiply eight times three, all I'm doing, right? Even though it looks like 31 times eight, all I'm doing is saying, what is eight times three? It's very simple. It's gonna be eight, 16, 24. Now, this number that I have here is going to be written on the next part. So I'm not going to cover this eight. I'm not going to erase my eight. I'm simply going to go ahead and continue writing that 24. Notice right here, it is aligned with this three. That is an easy way for you to acknowledge where it is that you're working on and what goes next. Thank you for watching.